Happy New Year to you. Back uh, in March when I started to come to you on a regular basis by video, I was pretty much uh, right in this spot. And uh, at that point, none of us knew uh, where we were headed, uh, but the Lord did. And uh, the Lord wants us to uh, do something uh, that's important. In fact, he gave instructions long ago when Solomon was pleading for his people at the newly dedicated temple. Uh, the Lord said this in response to Solomon and those words that he said then are as uh, pertinent today as they were back then. The Lord said this, when I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain or command locusts to devour the land or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Second Chronicles 7, 13 and 14. It seems obvious what we need to do. In this new year of 2021, after uh, the year that uh, has gone by, uh, the Lord, I think, has gotten our attention. I think he has rung the bell so that we are paying attention and realizing that we need him, that we need to turn to him. And he tells us right here, if my people called by my name will humble themselves and pray. So let's pray through this year. Let's begin with a prayer. Lord, you told us, and here we are. We're here before your mighty throne, and we pray for our land. Lord, we need you. So Father, we pray that you'll forgive us our sins, that you'll make us right with you. And Lord, we plead with you that you will bring the pandemic to an end, that you, Lord, will be the one who will move in power. We come to you because we know that you are the only one that can do anything. So we thank you, Father. We praise your name, that you are the God of love. And we come to you and we ask, Father, heal our land. We often sing it in our anthem, God, keep our land. Lord, we know that you're the only one that can keep us. You're the only one that can protect us. You're the only one that can provide for us. So we are here at this dawn of a new year, Lord, asking that you will bless us, that you will keep us, that your strong hand will be upon us, that you will heal. We pray, Father, for the many who are sick. Help them to get better. Lord, heal their bodies. Father, we pray for the many who have lost loved ones. We ask, Father, that you'll heal their hurts. Bind them up and minister to their broken hearts, Lord, we pray. And Father, we pray for the many who carry a heavy burden on their shoulder as a result of COVID-19. Lord, help them. Make it plain to them, Lord, that you are the Lord who has promised peace that passes all understanding. Lord, we know that we can only have it through Jesus Christ, who is known as the Prince of Peace, the Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God. We praise and honor and glorify you. We ask, Lord, and we plead with you that you will bring this to an end, and that in this year, Lord, that we might be faithful to you each and every day. We know, Lord, that we are weak and we fail. But we thank you, Lord, that you are strong and that your strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. So, Lord, we come, submit ourselves to you. We humble ourselves to you. We are your people. And we ask, Lord, that you will bless us and that your strong hand will be upon us so that we, Lord, will be known as your people right here in this community, right here in this province, right here in this nation. Bless us, Father. Bless our leaders. Give them wisdom and understanding. Lord, give them uh, Solomon-like wisdom. Make them people who, uh, like Solomon long ago, came to you 
and asked Lord and pled for the people, for his own people. Lord, we pray for leaders like that who will look to you and who will know your wisdom and who will apply your wisdom to these great problems. Father, thank you that you love us and that you've shown us your love through your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We cherish those good words. Greater love has no one than this, than he laid down his life for his friends. Jesus laid down his life for us, and we thank you, Father. We praise your holy name. We pray this in the precious name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Well, friends, I'm going to take a, a break from uh, Facebook and YouTube for a little while. I, uh, after a little while, I will come back and, and join with you on these uh, regular daily visits. Uh, I hope that God is blessing you and keeping you. And uh, as, uh, as always, you have a great day and God bless you. I'll see you uh, a little bit later in 2021.